Good evening everyone. This is Henry Gamble with SimplerOptions.com and in tonight's free video I wanted to take a look at Alibaba. Now this is a name that we've been trading for a while and you might say, oh I'm sure you have, <laughs> but the whole thing to being consistent or saying like, yeah we really have been trading this is about looking at the same types of signals over and over and over. So if you come back and look at this two dot squeeze right here, and that's another thing that I think is at least in my mind, um, something that is so much easier to trade technically because we did not know that BABA was going to make the revision to their earnings on this particular day, but we did know that there was a squeeze in play, we had a nice bullish trend, and we had a reason to be involved. So that was a squeeze that gave us a very nice move, and then you fast forward in time, we have another two dot squeeze that was right here. Now you can see that it doesn't necessarily always mark the day perfectly. You know, you had one day that was pretty strong in there, and then you consolidate for three before making that next next advance higher. Basically what I'm saying is I think we're in the point to start doing that again. So today we did have a nice close. You can see the all-time highs there at 160.39 and I think we have plenty of opportunity for another push into that report. Now the way to play it into the report, or at least the way that I have chosen to do this, is by looking at the directional calls. And one of the things that I wanted to make an example of in this video, or at least show you various ways to consider this, is this is kind of your aggressive directional way of doing it. But if you're looking to grow a smaller account or want to focus on more conservative strategies, these are two ways that I like looking at it for this Friday's expiration. When you think about which ones to choose, you know, buying the calls 11 days out is the place that I want to be to look for a continued rise in the implied volatility. You know, you can see how that jumps currently up about 15 points uh, difference in that front series. So I'd like to see that implied volatility continue to expand into the report, and that will have the most direct effect on those directional calls. Then looking at the idea of saying, well, what if we can pop up and make this new high this week? And that's where I look to add a, uh, the slightly in the money put credit spread and then also the addition of a call side butterfly giving myself about four dollars of room to the upside and then seeing if we can make that new high. Um, looking at that there in the options or the order all products is a great way of doing it but I feel like this also really will come home for people when you start looking at your Greeks and thinking about managing inside this because with the current layout of the position that I have you know definitely directionally focused and will lose money with the passage of time you know, I'm doing that because I think that the directional move will be able to compensate for that decay. If you look at it and say, well, I'd prefer to trade a little bit more theta positive, you know, you can clearly see the difference of that when you take away, when you remove your directional calls, this is what I was looking at, is just the difference in that decay. So with the entire position shown, you can see that I'm losing about $22 per day, making 207 directionally. If you remove the long calls from the position, you can see that it becomes much more favorable. Still has a nice peak right there at the push to new highs, gives you no upside risk by the combining of the two spreads. And I think that all three are great ways at looking at trading a bullish trend, and you just decide which is the most appropriate for your trading style. So I hope that's helpful, and I'll see you guys at the next free video.